I think it's time for the spookers, lads. Do we watch The Well? Scary Story Animated, part one of three. Boys, it's a whole trilogy. Lads, okay, lights off for this one, boys. I'm spooky Monka X. Monka X. Centuries ago, in a small village in feudal Japan, a young girl resided with her stepfather. Her mother had passed away some months ago from a harsh disease, and her true father was killed in a farming accident, leaving her begrudgingly in the hands of her disinterested and cruel stepfather. He made her do all of the chores in the household, the cooking, the washing, and the laundry of the neighbors in return for food. He would also make her do anything else that he couldn't be bothered doing himself. One chore that the girl could not do herself yet was drawing water from the well. Lads, if this penis is in the well, a heavy I'm, bucket I'm full of water laugh. to the top and then pouring it into a larger bucket, which was then carried back to the village. On this particular day, when drawing water from the well, something in the pail caught the stepfather's eye, <laughs> made of fine metal and emblazoned with precious stones. This must be worth a fortune, he thought to himself. He stared at his stepdaughter with his greedy, oh. evil eyes and said to her, I'm sending you down to the bottom of the well to see if there are any more jewels. Shaking like a leaf, she climbed into the bucket and held on tight as her stepfather lowered her into the black pit of the well below. Suddenly, the handle on the bucket snapped and she fell all the way down into the darkness until she, the stepfather shouted down into the well. But it was not to inquire about her well-being. It was to ask if there were any more treasures down there. What a donkey! All he cared about. You donkey! The girl had fortunately survived the fall what the heck? and knew that if she didn't tell him she'd found more precious items, he would most likely leave her there to die. What a monkey! She told him there were indeed more treasures, the likes of which he couldn't possibly imagine. He shouted to her that he would send a rope down and for her to tie the items to it so he could She's pull them up. Him. She yeah, told him to yeah. lift her out at the same time, but he wouldn't do it. This confirmed her belief wow. that she couldn't trust him. She told him if he wanted what the treasure, donkey. he would have to come down here and get it himself. You're Slowly, he donkey. edged his way into the well and now they started both to climb down. Die, huh? Then, the rope snapped and he began Ooh. to fall. The little girl watched in horror as she saw him free fall all the way down, face first into the water below with a huge oh, splash and a blood curdling snap as he broke his neck and oh, died. What? The day slowly turned into night. She tried to climb out, but the wall was too slippery. Oh she tried gosh. to scream out, but no one could hear her. Exhausted, she gave up, sat down, and cried. Oh, that's so awful. Soon after, she stopped sobbing and looked into her stepfather's eyes. She was furious at him for putting her in this situation. She was glad he was dead. Suddenly, he stared at her and smiled. She was completely petrified as the chilling look on his face tore through her like cold steel. Then he spoke. What the? You're going to die down here. Then we'll be together again. Okay, You'll be Okay, this just turned into some fanfic weirdo stuff. She looked up. There was no way she could get out tonight. She felt the best thing she could do would be to summon her courage and ride out the night. In the morning, someone would come. And then she would be this saved. This is SpongeBob <laughs> She had a horrible, sleepless night. Wasn't it was freezing cold, and out of the darkness came dozens of insects which spent oh, the night crawling bro, all over her face and body. A man, who was passing by, heard her calls and looked into the well to investigate. He called down to her. Are you okay? He shouted. I'm fine, Step she called back. Bro. Please help me. I'm stuck down here. The man immediately got a strong rope and slowly lowered it down to her. She tied it around her waist, and he pulled her to the surface. She couldn't believe she was rescued. She was so happy to see this man. Big so dog kind. for the brother's sake! She hugged him talk and thanked him for talk saving her. Premise, he comforted her uh, yeah, premise talk and told her that everything would be all. This feeling, however, was tragically short-lived, as once uh, she realized what was in this man's wagon, a chill ripped through okay. her, and she wished herself to be back in the bottom of the well. Okay, this is fake, dude. Okay, this is fake BS, man. The little girl's feeling of freedom 
had been so shattered. now she's been trapped yeah. she felt sick to her stomach as she was thrown into the bamboo cage with the other girls and told to not make a sound if she tried to escape she would be killed on the spot and thrown in the fire Jesus. Boys, the bandits had set up a corrupts. small camp and were planning their next kidnappings, which no, were to we'll take place tomorrow. in the girls' village in the react. valley below. A villager, who had made their way over to the well for water, had heard voices as he was approaching, so which he thought guy. was unusual, so he had proceeded with caution. He hid behind a bush before coming any closer. <laughs> he peered out from behind the bushes and closely observed the strangers That's and their camp. He didn't think much of them, until he saw what they had trapped in the bamboo cage. Panicking, he quickly changed his mind about drawing water from the well and headed back he down the dipped? hill to the village as what quickly as possible. The little girl wondered why life had treated her so badly. She missed her parents so much and wished them to be back in her yeah, life dude, with all her that's heart. Some real bad karma. She's gonna get some good it was stuff at that point she home. thought she heard someone calling her name. She slowly opened her eyes and looked into the darkness. There was someone there. As the figure slowly approached oh her, she gosh. tried to make out who it was. A feeling of terror overwhelmed her it's as her dead death. stepfather came into view and began to talk to her. What the heck? Don't worry, darling, he said. This will all be over soon. With this, the little girl screamed, and as her stepfather faded away, one of the bandits appeared out of the darkness and bashed his so stick against the cage. She's just having apparitions. Shut then. up, he said. One more word out of any of you, and I'll cut your throats out. The other girls in the cage stared angrily at the little girl. She felt more miserable than ever, and really did just want to die. What the fuck is up with Tokyo? Yeah, that night. The the bandits made their way down the hill to the village. The Yakuza and just always. as they were about to storm the building, the male villagers came out, all brandishing bamboo Whoa! spears and all ready to fight. They came clock, They had been boys. expecting the bandits and were ready to defend themselves. Oh my goodness! One Look of the at head villagers champions. told them they were outnumbered and it would be in their best interest to just turn around and leave. Oh, numbers the game. bandits weren't interested in leaving. They gave the villagers the option of surrender or death. The villagers had had enough. This is your last chance to leave, they said, or we will be forced oh, to kill you to, all. The war is about to go off. Kill us, replied the bandits. You're not killers. We are. And with that, the last thing the villagers heard was the sound of arrows flying through the air right before they took out each and every one of them with incredible and brutal precision. Oh, what the? Three of the bandits were highly skilled archers and had been hiding Hansel? in the dark. This is, this is what happens when you put Overwatch on the Switch, boys. It's just too much. All of the male villagers were dead. What the f And now, not only did the bandits own the village, they also owned everything. What a bunch of donkeys! But wait, I don't understand. That was like not even the same story. That whole one was the woman gets an apparition of her stepdad, and then, and then the ya the banish the yakuza just killed all the people in the village. Now in full control, relocated their camp from the top of the hill to the center of the village. Okay. So now they run they the show. They brought their other prisoners down with them and led them into the main building to be with the others. This was so they could keep them all in one place for the purposes of security and sorting. Takio's own storyline. Two of the bandits oh. huddled them all together in one room and kept a watchful eye over them while the others made one of the ladies cook for them. Later into the night, the bandits began to fall extremely ill. Ooh. Some of them suffered horrific stomach cramps which near crippled them with pain. Others felt so nauseous oh, they began to they vomit put the poison in the food. They could not stop until the entire contents of their stomachs had been expelled. What? One, who was less affected than the others, accused the lady who cooked the food of poisoning them and told one of the men to take her outside and kill her. No, it's the well! Vehemently Bro, it's the well! It's the well! Remember, the stepdad's dead in the well. They probably got all that water and didn't even look. Denied the accusation. Oh, because the, the soup is red. To the contrary, her pleas fell on deaf ears, and she was led outside to be murdered in cold blood. 
Oh my gosh, I think I'm right, boys. Their sickness was in fact caused by the water they had drunk when they saw I'm so place. smart! The little girl's stepfather's bowels had released yes! and died. The only question is, how did they not see poo-poo water? Like, I know you guys are going to zool on me right now, but how did they not see poo-poo water? Like, come on, To their dude. surprise, the lady came running back into the building, clearly having been spooked by something. Behind her, the bandit slowly stepped back into no, the room dude. and stood still. No, no. Blood began to drop onto the floor. If it's the dude, the I, we're ending the video right here. Revealing okay. a large, deep slash to Wait, his back. What the heck? Two bandits reached for their swords and slowly pulled themselves to their feet. In the doorway, it's a lone the samurai oh, walked no. into the light and stared them down. On the previous day, when the villager had seen the bandits in their camp, he indeed raised the alarm with the others so that they could prepare, but he also headed off to the nearest town in order to get help. They planted Fortunately it! Fortunately for him, he met a samurai along the way. Oh, Sekiro! The rushed at him, but they were no match. Oh, your samurai shampoo! He had killed them both. Genji came clutch, the boys. saw this as their opportunity to rise up, and they wasted no time overpowering the remainder of the bandits, slaughtering them all with, with uncompromising and violence. <laughs> One had taken the little girl and threatened to slice her throat if they didn't let him go. The little girl had it's other ideas. Here, she pulled something from inside her clothes and stabbed the bandit right in the neck. Oh, it was the thing! It was vein, the pins from the bucket! From his wound and his quick death to follow. He was dead. They were all dead. The samurai then noticed something very interesting about the object that the little girl had stabbed the bandit with. He picked it up and held it out to her. This hairpin, where did you get this? He asked. She explained that she took it from her dead stepfather when she was trapped in the bottom of the well. Do you know who this belongs to? He asked. No, she said. It bears the imperial seal, he told her. It's extremely valuable. You'd better come with me. With no energy left to argue or fight, she submitted. What? The palace was unlike anything it? she had seen in her entire life. It was so beautiful and yet so terrifying at the same time. Dude, that looks like one of the ones I she studied. She had no idea what was going on. That looks like White Heron. He made you- Boys, I got it! I'm a genius! Look! White Heron Castle! Oh my gosh, I'm a five-head genius. He was taken inside its walls to a beautiful garden. You would never know if I didn't tell you. Under a pagoda. Oh, no. She was asked to take the hairpin to her and explain herself. What the fuck? As she presented the hairpin, the princess was overcome with joy. She told the little girl of how she lost it down a well when she had stopped for a drink while traveling with her soldiers. <laughs> she couldn't yeah, retrieve yeah. it at the time as they were yeah, needing to move quickly, really but she had regretted it horribly and sent one of her samurai to get it. This was the same samurai who saved the little girl and her village. Oh. She hugged the little girl and thanked her for returning the pin to her. Is this a happy ending or a sad ending? once belonged one? to her mother. She said she could have anything in return, at which point the girl replied, she just wanted to be loved. Aww. And she was, for the rest of her days, in the safety and security. Why they got the scary the music playing? Tell me that's it. Good ending. Good ending. I like that. It was scary, but it was a good ending. Kind of a pee pee poo poo story, but I like how like everything like interacted. We got the good ending, boys. Big pogu out here, lads.